Hey friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to wirelessly connect your physical phone to the Android Studio environment and then debug your apps code. So let's begin. We'll create a new project, simple one, and we'll name this project as wireless uh, connection of phone. You can name this anything, of course. I mean, I'm, yeah, click finish, wait for the environment to load. Once the environment loads, uh, probably we'll create some simple, very simple uh, app uh, just to demonstrate the debugging option. So, say for example, I'll keep this text view as it is, and I will most likely print something in this text view on click of this button. So, I'll just first give some kind of um, this ID to this text view, and also I'll give the constraints to the button. I'll go to my Java code and define a method, public void method, public void button uh, debug view view person. And in my main XML file, layout file, I'll name this as debug. So I'm just I'm just creating a simple example to demonstrate debugging. And in this button on click attribute, I'll uh, associated with the but, uh, debug this particular method perfect and also what I'll do is I'll just create a private class variable private text view text view and in the on create method I'll associate this text view but probably I'll do one thing I'll not even do this over here I will do it directly in the button uh, click only find view by id r dot id dot text view and then what I'll do is I will modify it. I'll first set set text probably uh, before debugging and and over here probably after debugging and I'll put a breakpoint after debugging and I'll put a breakpoint here so that uh, we can see the difference before debugging we get something and then after debugging no while debugging I'll put it while debugging and then over here probably I'll put one more text view control C and control V and after debugging yeah. I'm not sure okay after debugging yeah perfect so to run this code in uh, emulator is very easy, I'll just minimize it, it's very easy, we can go here and run or we can choose the emulator which we want to run it and uh, we can debug also but in this video we'll see how to connect it to a physical device rather, rather than a virtual device and an emulator, I'll uh, configure a physical device and I'll use this option of pair using Wi-Fi. So you can click here and make sure both your device, the physical device and this Android issue or, or your uh, uh, environment, the laptop is connected to the same Wi-Fi and then you can click here, you get two options here, either you can do in pair using uh, some kind of code or using QR code. So in this option, we'll see the QR code option now I know I'll switch to my phone. So to enable the debugging in your phone, first and foremost, you should go to your settings and about phone and uh, two, three. 4, 5, I think you have to click some 4 5 times and then it will a message will come you are now a developer. So this option will get enabled and this may be different for different phone but yeah that's basically the option what you have to do. And now if you scroll down there should be an option called additional settings and in the additional settings if you go and you should get this developer options enabled uh, in your case. To configure or to connect your phone to the Android Studio, you should go and scroll down uh, in the debugging, under the debugging part, you'll get various options like debugging using the USB debugging or wireless debugging, go to wireless debugging, but also make sure this install wire, um, this option is enabled uh, in your case, otherwise the installation of the application from Android Studio over wireless debugging won't work, although it says via USB. But this also needs, uh, for wireless debugging also, this option needs to be enabled. Now I will click here, wireless debugging. 
enable it and this will give you various options so you get options like uh, pair device using qr code or uh, uh, using some kind of um, padding code so we'll go with this qr code option and of course we had already enabled that um, in our android studio the qr code so we have scanned it and it may take a while uh, for the pairing to happen yeah but once the pairing happens in the bottom you can see you will get your uh, device uh, with the device fingerprint of course that the device has been paired coming back to my laptop so this kind of screen will come up where it will say the device which has been connected you can close this screen and of course uh, it will show the device in your device manager and it will also start showing it in your emulator above now to run this uh, application in your uh, physical device you can just select that instead of the uh, emulator and either you can just run it or debug it i'll directly go to the debug option because i want to show you that it will hit the breakpoint over here once this button is pressed so i'm clicking here and on my phone it in parallel uh, will ask me whether I am uh, whether I should allow to install this particular app or not. I mean, right now you can see over here it says installing and just say yes or uh, allow on your phone to allow the installation when the pop-up message comes and it may take a while for the installation to happen. Perfect. So app has installed and I can see the screen uh, over here. So the moment I click the debug button over there in my device it hits the debug point over here uh, the break point and i can just do one by one and once i click uh, 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 yeah uh, run it will run and it will show after debugging probably i'll quickly switch back to my phone now yeah so over here if my screen is visible we can see that after debugging has been printed because debug has completed so I can redo it and of course uh, it will hit the break point and the moment I click uh, run it will just run through and then this message after debugging. So that's all I wanted to show you in uh, this uh, video. Uh, code doesn't matter much here the concept of how you can connect a physical device in your device manager and then choose it, use it for debugging that something was important and it depends on device to device how to enable the developer option but that's the important part you have to enable the developer option and then you have to enable the uh, respective uh, uh, wireless debugging and associate it make sure the Wi-Fi to which your laptop and your phone is connected is same to uh, have a seamless uh, connection between your environment and uh, mobile phone that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.